my buddy Andy decides to go on a dating site. He puts his picture, and next to the picture, he puts this coupon. Go out with me in the next one week, and I'm buying drinks. <laughs> Fine print, under $9. If I was his best friend, I would intervene by saying, dude, why are you getting so desperate? <laughs> but let's say he survives. Somebody decides to go up with him. Now, Andy goes to level two. He gets out this you know, romantic loyalty card <laughs> and says, look, I give you punches, and they're heart-shaped punches. After five punches, I get you carnations. <laughs> after five more, I get you roses. And after 15 punches, you get a box of Godiva chocolates. <laughs> How sad is it? At this point, I really want to give my buddy Andy a hug by saying, dude, I feel bad for you. If this is so pathetic in relationships, why do we keep doing this every day in businesses to get customers in through the door? This number, the lifetime value of the customer, changes the whole perspective. You all want to be effective, but they want to be efficient. The customer says, I don't care about you, I don't care about you. I decide what I want, and as we go forward, that becomes a critical element for us. In the process, we got to know the customer, and then we acted passionately from our heart. The concept of karma is very simple. If you do good things for your customer, the customer will do good things back for you long term. I don't want you to give me one out of 100 service I want you to give me one out of one. I always went back to my grandma's advice, which was, do good karma, Arjun. That's all you can do. And trust and believe that good karma will come back to you. Karma, a word my grandma taught me in India, comes from a Sanskrit word called karman, which is action. That the customer is not going to come to you first by saying, I'm the $5,000 customer. Will you treat me like one? No. You invest in the customer first, ongoing, and then the customer will reward you with a lifetime relationship. For a guest, the expectations are very simple. I want consistency every guest, and I want it every visit, every restaurant, every from every team member, and for every experience element. There are three things I have found which are very important to appreciate Jane and take care of every customer. Number one, recognize me. I'm a human being. Each one of us are different than others. If you pause for a second for me, have that special smile from just you to me, it makes me feel good. Number two, be consistent every time. Don't recognize me one time and next time whoosh me totally, it doesn't work. Don't make an amazing cup of coffee one time and next time go low on the chai. Consistency is very important to build trust. And number three, try hard. You don't have to be perfect. We are all human beings. The customer understands you don't have to be perfect. As we get into this journey to win, having the vision to win big is very important. You really must understand what you're signing up for, not to be another burger place, 
but to be the burger place. And then the light bulb went on when I discovered a relationship secret. The concept is very simple. Marketing is an invitation. If I'm trying to trick you, shame on me. Marketing can win, operations can win, but doesn't matter. We all lose when the customer says you are a loser. It's all about first putting the customer first. Okay? It was a very simple thing to do. It has to come from here, just like in a relationship. That's the ultimate level of loyalty.